What is up guys, Killer Jin here, doing a different type of Fortnite video. It's not going to be a highlights video this time, but it's actually going to be talking about how I got the, uh, what is it, dark something, uh, Dark Triceratops, which was a, uh, Japanese Switch Tournament exclusive, uh, early release. I don't know if it's actually going to be coming out in the item shop later, but, uh, definitely was a, uh, surprise getting 20 points in the, uh, Japanese tourney on 200 ping, but... More importantly, I'm going to be showing you where I landed, why I picked my arena drop spot, and uh, just talk about uh, why I like it so much. So let's just go into Playground and uh, we can talk about it in the game. So uh, we're flying in here, um, so I have to go into a Playground so it's easier to show you all uh, where I drop. Uh, quick note, to anybody who's making this area over here their drop spot, it is very contested. During my arena games, uh, there were at least two or three people who dropped here every game. So if you plan to make that spot over there, your arena drop, uh, be careful. But uh, yep, here's my arena spot, uh, Shantytown. A um, little bit off the map, uh, bottom left corner. And um, here's why I dropped here. First of all, easy mats. Um, as you can see, uh, these barrels are metal. They give you easy shield, as well as a uh, free brick, not brick, a uh, free metal, which is definitely good because metal is a super valuable uh, material to have in the end games, especially when you're basing up. Uh, you don't want to be basing up in things like wood because they're too easy to break. So having access to uh, max metal off the drop is definitely good. Um, another reason why you drop here, of course there's max wood. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of trees around, which is easy. But another reason to drop here is that you can fish. Um, because it's near the water side, uh, it's very easy to uh, pull a fishing rod and just go fishing. Um, and as you saw there, the third reason why I dropped here was boats for free rotation. No matter where the circle went, I always knew that I could probably get there by using a boat. If I needed to go into center zone, I could go through weeping into center, and then from there I could rotate. If circle was up top on the north side, I could rotate around the outside of the map this way, uh, around Holly and Sweaty to uh, get up there. Or even if the map was down near Misty Meadows, for example, I could rotate down this way, around the outside of the map again. Um, the way I pl the reason I play it the way I do is because um, it's playing for placement. I'm not playing for kills, ten t usually in the early game, because I feel like, or well, for this tournament at least. There's the odds of me outgunning people in the early game is not very high. I'm at 200 ping because I'm we're on Japan servers, and it's just unnecessary work that uh I didn't want to have to deal with. Honestly, the couple downsides of dropping to this location is that there isn't a lot of loot, right? Like there's one chest spawn here, one chest spawn here, no chest spawns there, one chest spawn there. So you have a total of three chests and a uh, mediocre ground loot. I believe there is one ground loot spawn, which is right there. One ground loot spawn, which is there. Uh, no ground loot spawns in there. And uh, I believe one ground loot spawn in there. So um, this is this definitely isn't a uh, duo or squads drop. This is definitely a solos drop. Uh, and there are even certain times where it's not enough for a solo. Like uh, There have been certain situations where I've come out of this... Uh, with like no shotgun or like um, bad mats and uh, it's kind of something that comes with the territory of dropping on the outside of the map uh, but that can usually be uh, made up for by uh, I mean yeah there's also a chest spawn and uh, I think two loot spawns two floor loot spawns and the shack on the edge but overall um, my usual game plan was to land on top of this house rotate ow, rotate into the bottom here uh, loot up because there's a uh, chest spawn here, which can be anything, a uh, three, what, three, or two, four, six, six inside. There's two here, which is eight, and then there's one out here, which is nine. So that's almost full shields off one house. Then I tend, depending on uh, the circumstances, I'd rotate over to that house or this house. That house is always the end. Uh, because, of this, because of the location, there isn't that much brick, so I'd run over here, grab that brick and uh, the two logs on top of it. Then I would rotate over towards that shack, uh, go fishing if it was possible, and then I'd take the boat and rotate into circle. Uh, usually it works. Uh, 
very rarely do I uh, get caught. Um, actually, not to lie. Um, because of uh, the way I rotate, it takes me about two minutes to uh, get fully looted, uh, get max wood and everything. So usually by the time I do get to the boat, circle starting to close in, so I have to go into circle anyways. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, this is going to be my arena drop for uh, probably the end of the, se the season at least, because I doubt they're going to be making any drastic changes to the map before season or uh yeah season two drops but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh make sure you guys like comment and subscribe uh, if you want to see uh, more videos from me uh you can subscribe to the channel check out the playlist in my channel as well i i doubt i'll be making a lot of videos like this but definitely if there is a topic that i want to talk about i will definitely be making a video like this so uh, yeah, have a good day and night wherever you all are, and as always, peace out. I fucked that up. And as always, peace out.